Hey guys, this is Biggie at Biggie's Car Garage coming back to you with another video and it's been a little bit, but before we jump into this video, I just wanted to tell you, be sure and hit that like and subscribe button before we go any further. So guys, what I want to talk to you about today, you guys know recently I had a new uh, FB Performance transmission built by Darren Birch. Great transmission, 4R70W with all the goodies in it, manual valve body. Um, so that's been something new I've had to get used to and I'm really enjoying it. But the other day I noticed a problem with my car. As I was driving the car, I noticed when I flipped the switch to send the car into overdrive, nothing happened. And it was kind of a mystery because I'm thinking, first of all, I should hear a solenoid or something trigger to send the car into overdrive, which will enable me to lock up my converter out on the highway. Um, again, like I say, just one of the things with overdrive guys, you know, everybody stresses, you never want to go wide open throttle with your car in overdrive. Please do not make the mistake of doing that. Nevertheless, this kept bothering me and I kept wondering, I said, you know, something is wrong. I know when I wired this car up and the transmission, you know, I double checked it twice, three times, four times. But again, like I say, my car just would not shift into overdrive, which is your fourth gear. Um, it was bothering me. So last night I was on my phone, uh, doing some research. Um, I looked back over my instruction sheet, making sure, you know, that my wiring was correct. And I thought that it was. So let me tell you what I discovered yesterday. It bothered me enough. I said, I have got to get out here and fix this car because my plan is to head to the track this evening to do some testing with the dark horse GT. So first of all, I grabbed my multimeter and my test light come to find out one of the mistakes was my fault. Um, as you know, again, when you wire a manual valve body transmission, everything is activated on your own from the shifting to the overdrive to the lockup. So actually I have my overdrive and lockup on two uh, toggle switches here in my console. Um, first thing I noticed was as I was doing some testing, the wires to my lockup converter um, I actually had backwards on the switch, which was a problem. So again, it's a three pole switch. And of course, one is for the LED. So I had those backwards, totally my fault. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, that solves that problem. But this still doesn't tell me why my car will not shift into overdrive. As I moved over to the next switch, what I did, I started doing a continuity check on my switch. Come to find out the switch was bad, which... I had continuity all the way through. So the way these manual valve body uh, transmissions work, again, this is a FB performance transmission. The harness itself is powered by 12 volts. So essentially for everything to work, it basically is searching for a ground. So once you flip the switch for your overdrive and your lockup converter, you're basically grounding those. That is what was not happening with my car. So once I found out the switch was bad, I simply ran up to O'Reilly, got a new push button rocker switch uh, that's on and off, came back, put it on my meter, made sure it was good, wired it up. And as far as test connections go, it seemed to be good. But I said, okay, my next step is I need to take this car out and hit the highway and drive it. Oh my God, what a relief. This car drove amazing. I took this car around town, ran through all the gears from first, second, to third, hit the overdrive switch. You feel the RPMs and see the RPMs come down in my car. Problem solved. I was so ecstatic. Like I say, just something, you know, a simple switch. So that was a problem as far as why my car wouldn't go into overdrive. So again, anytime you plan on, you know, getting out on the highway, which I call this my cruising gear, cruising to the track or just around town. Once I get into third, I can flip the switch in my console um, shift the car into overdrive. And if I want to lock the converter up, I can do that as well. That's only a, you know, a second switch. And again, you only want to lock that converter up when the car is in overdrive. So just a little bit more about these FB performance transmissions and the wiring of these manual valve bodies. When you get these transmissions, you do have the wiring harness with all of your stock wiring, but there's five wires that you really need to pay attention to. And I'm gonna go over those. So the yellow wire coming out of the harness, that is your lockup wire. 
So that should go to one side of a on and off switch and the other to ground. So again, the harness itself is already powered with 12 volts. So once you connect this wire for the lockup and you flip your switch, that should ground that solenoid, which is gonna send you, lock up your converter. The next wire on here that you need to pay attention to is your orange wire with the yellow stripe. That is your overdrive button. Same wiring, you'll take that to one side of an on and off switch, ground the other side with a good ground. We'll move on to the next one. That's gonna be your pink wire. Um, the instructions here actually say, so that's for your lockup as well too, but that's gonna go to, that's the one I was talking about earlier that goes to a 12 volt source. So that one you would need to take to a 12 volt, basically when the ignition is on. So again, you can just put your, find you a good 12 volt that works with the ignition that can easily be done using your test light uh, just for ease. Uh, next, you're gonna have your pink with black stripe wire. That is for your trans brake. So guys, my trans brake, again, I am using a B&M gated shifter. Um, I have the two momentary push button switches on the handle here. And of course, my top one right now, I am using for the trans brake. So some guys are going to ask, how come I didn't put the trans brake on the steering wheel? Well, I still may end up doing that. But for right now, I do have it on the shifter and it seems to work fine for me. One of the other reasons this works fine for me is with these manual valve body transmissions, in order for the car to back up, you have to have the car in reverse while depressing the trans brake button. Now, as you can imagine, if you're going in reverse, backing the car up and you need to turn the steering wheel, of course, it's gonna be hard to continue to hold down on that momentary push button. So with this button, me being used or using this on the gear shift, it makes it much easier. I can steer in reverse uh, with one hand on the steering wheel. Um, I can depress the trans brake button on the gear shift with the other, problem solved. Next wire you're gonna need to pay attention to is your um, purple wire. So that's the trans brake wire. Actually, that's the one, I'm sorry. The other one, the pink with the black stripe, that's gonna be the one um, connected to a 12 volt source. It's the purple wire itself, just a solid 12, just a solid purple wire, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the one that's gonna go to your momentary push button switch. So I just wanted to make sure we get that corrected. After that, really guys, that's all the wiring. Um, you basically have, well, there's one more thing too that you need to um, realize, your reverse light. Again, I have a manual switch that's on my B&M gated shifter here. Uh, again, if I go up to the tree and I am on the trans brake button, I do not want the reverse lights to be on. That throws a bad signal to the guy behind me and it's just annoying to anybody. So of course, the only time I want those lights to come on is if I'm actually backing up the car in reverse, which is what this switch on the B&M gated shifter does. Outside of that, guys, that's pretty much it as far as the wiring. Um, I just made sure when I put this transmission in, like say I did my due diligence, you know, I feel like with the harness that was wired fine. It was simply an oversight on my part when I got inside of the car and started wiring to the switches. Again, it's just good to have your meter out and your test light to do some double checking. And again, this is a built for 70W transmission. Um, this was built by Darren Birch. He did a great job on it. Again, put all the goodies on it. Uh, this transmission is capable of holding up to a thousand horsepower, which again, guys, you know my plan. It's to build a two valve or either do a coyote swap in this car and be somewhere between, I'd say that 900 to 1,000 horsepower, that's to come. So again, any of you guys out there that are using a manual valve body, um, valve body in your 4R 70W transmission, be sure and pay attention to these wiring items. You know, just one of the things, you know, it's electronics, parts can go bad. And just, of course, I had a on and off switch that went bad, which would not allow my car to shift into overdrive. But again, I got my meter out, did some checking, solved the problem. I ran to O'Reilly, replaced the switch, problem solved. Again, you know, when I was driving this car and I got into third up at about 55, 60 mile an hour, you know, I have a 3600 style converter. So we're running at about, you know, 27 to three grand on the RPM meter. Again, once I get this car up to third now and shift it into overdrive, you see those RPMs drop back down to probably about 2100 22 which is good for highway cruising 
So again, you know, when I'm out just cruising or headed to the track, that's when I'm going to use overdrive gear. I do not use overdrive at the track. That is off as well as my traction control. Anytime I'm making test hits or passes down the track. So again, guys, I hope this helps you with it. You know, again, 4R70 bill, manual valve body, just some tips on the wiring. Again, guys, this is Big E coming to you from Big E's Car Garage. If you hadn't already, be sure and hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to take the Dark Horse GT to the track this evening to do some testing. I've not been there in a while and I'm excited to get back. So stay tuned for some content and video footage of that and how my night went. And again, guys, I appreciate your support. Thanks for tuning into the channel. I hope this helps somebody and we will see you next time. Peace.